Emma Roberts' co-stars said she acted like a spoiled Nepo baby on set when she refused to talk to extras and ordered other celebrities around. Now, one of the worst instances of this is what she did to her American Horror Story co-star, Angelica Ross. Angelica claimed that Emma could be a bully presence on set, once going as far as to misgender her in front of a director. Now, Angelica first spoke out about the alleged incident during an Instagram Live. I'm standing in front of Emma, talking to her like this, and she's in front of me, her back against the mirror. She goes, John, Angelica's being mean, she claimed, seemingly referring to the American Horror Story director John J. Gray. Angelica claimed that Gray then said, okay ladies, you know that's enough, let's get back to work. Now the actress continues saying that Emma then looks at me and she goes, don't you mean lady. Now Angelica said that she feared retaliation if she reported the alleged incident. Angelica admitted that she no longer spoke to Emma after the alleged onset encounter. Then there's Kendall Jenner. Kendall Jenner comes from one of the most famous families in the world, and this has brought her a lot of opportunities. She made her debut at number 16 on Forbes magazine's 2015 list of top earning models, with an estimated annual income of $4 million. Now in 2017, Kendall was named the world's highest paid model by Forbes, which caused some controversy to say the least. Now after this, in an interview she did in 2018 went viral due to her working comments. She said she was never one of those girls who would do like 30 shows a season or whatever those girls do. More power to them, but I had a million jobs, not only catwalks, but everything else. Now these comments made many people angry, including fellow models. Model Janita Lapina shared a screenshot of Kendall's quote with her take, saying, we are all hardworking and worked hard to be where we are. Nothing was given to us, she wrote. Now Lapina also posted an Instagram story of herself during a shoot, writing, I gotta work, with the hashtag, hashtag I'm not Kardashian. Moving on to Jamie Lynn Spears. Jamie Lynn Spears didn't get her fame from her parents, but from her sister Britney Spears. In February 2002, at age 11, Jamie Lynn made her acting debut in the Paramount Pictures drama film Crossroads, which starred her sister, Britney Spears. Now, following this, she got her own Nickelodeon show, which was ultimately cancelled after she got pregnant. Now, in July 2021, Worthy Publishing announced her plans to release a memoir, releasing a statement saying, Jamie Lynn's book has been in development for the past 12 months and will allow the world to hear her inspiring stories in her own words for the first time. Now, her memoir entitled Things I Should Have Said, Family, Fame, and Figuring It Out was released on January 18th, 2022, but it appeared that Jamie Lynn used her sister Britney Spears' highly publicized struggles in conservatorship to promote her new book, which is just disgusting. Now, Britney actually called her out for this. On Instagram, she made a post with the caption, the two things that did bother me that my sister said was how my behavior was out of control. She was never around me much 15 years ago at that time, so why are you even talking about that unless she wants to sell a book at my expense? Next up is Alyssa Milano. In a long-standing TV feud, Charm co-stars Shannon Dory and Alyssa Milano decidedly did not get along. I think I cried every single night of season 2, Shannon once told Entertainment Tonight, adding that their competitiveness got the best of them. Now, in an episode of Shannon's podcast, their third co-star, actress Holly Marie Combs, finally revealed what happened before Shannon left the show. We were told by Alyssa it's her or Shannon, and Alyssa has threatened to sue us for a hostile workplace environment. Holly then went on to say that Alyssa had footage of what made her feel uncomfortable and that she wouldn't be afraid to use it. Now, Shannon was then let go of the show, while Holly was seemingly coerced to continue despite not wanting to. They forced me to go back to a show I wanted nothing to do with she admitted. Now, this wasn't the only issue though, as during a Twitter feud with Alyssa, another co-star, Rose McGowan, tweeted, you threw a fit in front of the crew, yelling, they don't pay me enough to do this sh appalling behavior on the daily. I cried every time we got renewed because you made that set toxic AF. Then there's Kiefer Sutherland. Kiefer Sutherland is the son of Donald Sutherland and Shirley Douglas, who were both successful Canadian actors. Now, Kiefer is a successful actor now, but not all of his co stars have love for him. In 2010, Freddie Prince Jr. joined Kiefer's action series 24, and then he gave an interview about his time on the show a few years later, and he didn't have anything positive to say about the star. Freddie said that Kiefer was unprofessional and that he hated every moment of working 
working with him. Now it turns out the Kiefer was more than a little unprofessional while filming their scenes together. As Freddie says, that's not me talking trash, I'd say it to his face. I think everyone that's worked with him has said that. I just wanted to quit the business after that, so I just sort of stopped, Freddie continued in the interview. Yikes. Now imagine being so horrible on set that your co-star quit their profession. That is just so messed up. On to Lottie Moss. Lottie Moss is a model who, through her father, is the younger half-sister of model Kate Moss, and that's how she's garnered her fame. Now She had a modeling career as a teen, and she now does OF, but it seems like she hasn't put two and two together in terms of people who don't have those advantages being resentful of those who do. Now, Amid the conversation about the Nepo baby backlash, Lottie took to Twitter not to defend herself or her fellow Nepo babies, but to attack regular people. She said, I'm so sick of people blaming nepotism for why they aren't rich and famous or successful. Obviously, it's not fair that people who come from famous families are getting a leg up because of that, but guess what? Life isn't fair. If you put your mind to something, you can accomplish anything. So instead of being negative about other people's success, go and try to create your own. Now, according to the insider, Kate finds it all highly embarrassing and would rather not be associated with her. Dakota Johnson was born to actors Don Johnson and Melanie Griffith and followed in her parents' footsteps. Now, her recent movie, Madam Web, came out and it was just horrible and was met with a lot of criticism. Now, Dakota openly criticized the film as well, but it seems like fellow actor Russell Crowe had a problem with her expressing how she felt and he has called her out. He said, You're telling me you signed up for a Marvel movie and some effing universe for cartoon characters and you didn't get enough pathos. He said in a recent interview with GQ UK. Not quite sure how I can make this better for you. It's a gigantic machine and they make movies at a certain size. Now, Russell, who did declare that he didn't want to make any comments to what anybody else might have said or what their experience was, also pointed out that he has experience with superhero films, having starred in DC's Man of Steel and Marvel's Thor Love and Thunder. He's also in Sony and Marvel's upcoming movie, Kraven the Hunter, which is set in the same universe as Madam Web. If you're expecting this to be some kind of life changing, event, I just think you're here for the wrong reasons. Now, however, Russell did acknowledge that doing superhero movies can be challenging at times. You sometimes have to convince yourself a lot more than the internal mechanisms of your character. Now, I don't agree with him here, as Dakota wants to be a storyteller and be attached to her character, but it seems like she didn't have a lot to work with on Madame Web, and she was honest about that. I don't think she should be punished for that. And lastly is Ben Platt. Ben Platt began his acting career in musical theater as a child as he is the son of Julie and Mark Platt. Now his father is a film, television, and theater producer whose credits include Legally Blonde, Into the Woods, La La Land, and the musical Wicked. Now Ben has been linked to the musical Dear Evan Hansen where he played the lead role from 2015 to 2017. Then it was announced that a film version of Dear Evan Hansen would come out in 2021 and guess who was producing? it, Ben's father, Mark. So of course, Ben once again took on the role of Evan Hansen, but once the trailer dropped, people called out Ben, who was 27 years old at the time, for playing a high schooler. Now the movie tried to do CGI on him to make him look younger than he really was, but overall it was just really weird. People on the internet also said it was nepotism that got him the role. It could have been a perfect opportunity to give a new young actor a leading role that would change their lives, but Ben took it for himself, all because his father produced it. Now, Ben does not like discussing that he's a nepotism baby at all. A reporter asked the actor about being featured in New York Magazine's Nepo Baby issue. I'm curious, what was your response to that and what do you make of that whole discourse? The reporter asked Ben. We're going to skip right over that if we can, he then responded. According to the Rolling Stone reporter, Ben's publicist then added, if we could just focus on theater camp, that would be great. Thank you. Yikes. <laughs> well, that's all for our list of Nepo babies who are hated by their co-stars. Now, are you a fan of any of these celebrities? Let us know in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. I'm your host, Emily, and we'll see you next time. Peace.